Okay, I want to talk a little bit about knives. <clears throat> we live in America, of course. Man, cat dude. So, you can't really carry everything that you want around with you. I mean, if you do, you could take a cat <laughs> to throw it. <laughs> a little man. Yeah. <laughs> talk about a talk about a weapon. No, a cat's a weapon. <laughs> okay, no, what I want to talk about is knives. And and there is a similarity there because you you have the 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 clawing action. Which is great. <clears throat> a lot of people do this with with their with their hands in tiger system. We uh, adjusted a little bit with uh, the use of the knife because a knife, quite frankly, really equalizes things <clears throat> even in the animal world. You know, there's very few critters that have claws that long. And of course I have longer knives too, but for the purposes of demonstration we don't use them. But see, <clears throat> all of the motions in Kuntao Silat are designed to be used with a knife, you see? You see where it turns? It turns with the, the motions and the movements. We'll probably have to slow this down so that you can see which direction the cutting edge is going in these movements and where it changes. Because the, the Bagua is spoken of as the art of changes. And it's true that in combat you must change. The things that are coming true to you as, as you pull in <clears throat> need to be cut. The things that you're pushing away from you as you punch need to be cut. So the blade needs to be exchanged between the pulling motions and the pushing motions. <clears throat> and there you see the essence of knife work. And the beauty about that is because the knife is something that's so much better than a gun. Now in the past, I've just cut music in over the uh, uh, slowed down version of what's going on because I really don't want to share the intricacies, um, what some people call the secrets, with uh, just everybody out in the known world simply because there's some people out there that I'd prefer not to know what I do or exactly how I do it. I don't mind uh, slowing it down and and uh, showing you know everybody pretty much in slow motion what Kuntel Silat looks like, but there's a, a whole lot of um, well there's layers and layers and layers of information in Kuntel Silat that comes from the forms and the training exercises and the practice of kambangan, mostly what you see in terms of speed, you know, when I'm uh, uh, showing techniques and stuff like that, is done in what I call kambangan speed, which is basically the, the rhythm of the music. You know, fast music, slow music, uh, you know, in-between music, whatever. But the, uh, the, the timing, the speed that you see is generally relative to the music that's uh, playing in the background. And of course, you heard the uh, the song, you know, in, uh, that uh, I'm doing this to. But the distance learning program that now has evolved into the Guru Certification course was once upon a time basically geared for 
multi-black belt level black belts. You know, most of the students that have come to me over the years have been, you know, proficient in many other martial arts before they came to me. So they're, they're looking for collegiate level uh, information. They, they have the skill. Now they want to know how to apply it in a more effective way. And this was pretty much the, the parameters of the distance learning program. And that's why I said uh, over the years that it's simply not for everyone. You know, you, you have to have a background in martial arts. You have to have discipline, you know, developed to a, a very high degree in order to, number one, study on your own, because so much of Kuntau Silat is personal study. You, you virtually have to put most everything that you've ever learned in, uh, in a box and set it aside and endeavor as best you can to look at the world from a fresh new perspective. Or it's really difficult to get Kuntau Silat. It is a very intricate art and uh, it, it requires a whole lot of dedication and discipline to constant training in order to get to Guru Muda level. And then, of course, you can go on from there. Uh, there there's, well, the, the world just opens up at Guru Muda level. But one of the things that now has happened is that the people who have made it to that level and beyond are now teaching. And they do teach beginners. You know, people can now begin with Kuntau Silat and uh, learn the art uh, all the way up, especially the American branch. The uh, Malabar branch is still very difficult for Americans because of the low stances and the very hard forms. But the internal aspects of the American branch of Kuntau Silat make it pretty much wide open for Americans, regardless of health or disabilities or health uh, problems, you know, that Americans have just from the American lifestyle. Well, God bless you all. <laughs>